Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing some fun stuff. And I wanted to see who is going to be in the levels. So that way I could kind of talk to you guys too about um, what you guys wanted to cover this semester. Let me see if I can't. Let me see if I can't adjust the focus on this a little bit. Because I honestly, I was like, I remember, I somewhat remember, I, okay, I'm going to be real with you here. Uh, <laughs> Names, they don't, they don't stick very well. Names don't stick very well for me. And so, um, but faces, I remember faces. And so I can remember a lot of you guys. Um, and then what do we got? How many people we got? Was it? There, so there are nine in this level. If you don't have Blue the chat pulled moment. up, if you don't have the chat pulled up, make sure that you guys are, was it Adrian requested that everybody put their names in the chat box? So we got that happening. And then let me go through real quick. We're in level, we're level one, right? No. Three. Level three. Oh, okay, good. Well, I'm glad I didn't start These are the big dogs. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't start it the crazy way then. All right, so. <laughs> oh, so oh, you look already at got. puppy. Were you guys actually doing stuff on the 29th? Did I miss that class period? That um, we... Yes, but it wasn't your day. Right. Oh, I only marked my day. Today is July, but today is not the sixth. Today is the third. <laughs> I am so have the third, the tenth, the seventeenth, every Friday. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm looking at the wrong spreadsheet. If you're looking maybe. at the main, um, yeah, the, ba the big main oh, spreadsheet, make sure oh, you're on the oh, science oh. tab at the bottom. Uh -huh. That's ah, you are probably on composition. Whoa, and somebody's editing it right now. NCC Upward Bound. Yep. So, oh not it. Not <laughs> this is this is so weird because I got like all these helpers, and so it's like <laughs> all these like uh, it's it's different because usually when I teach, I'm teaching two classes this summer, guys. I'm teaching two sets of microbiology, and so we have to do lecture and we have to do lab completely online, and so I have to talk for three hours during lecture, just like wow. nonstop, mm -mm. just me. And you know what, like. Nobody in here, you guys are like, I can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody flipping on their cameras if they've got the option to do so or put up some kind of picture or something. Because like literally like for the college students, a lot of them are just like, I just need to be done with this semester and I just want to get out of here. <laughs> and so it's just a whole bunch of like names. And so I have, That's I'm so really sad. like, I'm, I know. And I get like really self-conscious about it too. Cause I'm just like, I wonder if they're like even paying attention or if they're like literally like playing video games in the background or something like that. So, mm -hmm. so it's messing with I mean, me. I'm not going to say this group is paying attention or not playing video games, but you can see them. <laughs> Bree's I making say, buddy. I noticed Michael playing. <laughs> Brielle's making buddy. Brielle's making it. buddy right now. But, uh, <laughs> I see. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Upper Bound and getting paid. But uh, so. All right, well, that's totally cool, you guys. Hey, awesome. so then it looks like everybody's here except for Jacob. Um, I want to say that majority of you guys I've had in class before, if not all of you, I think. So, um, so what you guys, have you all had the chance to go through and take the pretest? Have you had the chance to do that yet? Yeah. If you guys, if you have. Thumbs yeah, up or nod your heads, please. Like that, you know, and then also you guys, there should be these little buttons down here in the, in the corner. Have you guys used those for like the reactions and stuff like that? Or it'll pop it up on my screen so I can see it. I play with um, them all the time. Yeah, did you guys Hello, use Zoom for your classes at the end of the school year? Did you guys use those as well? Are you all like Zoom masters? You're like super awesome at it and everything <laughs> like that. So I, I know, know they are. are. Yep. Hey, so what did we cover last year with you guys? What did we focus on? I can't remember. Were we the ones that were growing like stuff in like like grass seed and? Yes, we um, tried to grow stuff on a Mars-based grass soil. soil. Yeah. Okay. Mars soil. That's so cool. Um, Why wasn't I in that class? <laughs> well, it was, it was actually it was like a lot of fun actually because didn't we like do like a whole bunch of different things to it? Like yeah. we stuck some in like a freezer and we spun yeah, some we in did. like a centrifuge and like. I think we zapped some in a microwave or something like that, or I don't even remember. We did all kinds of stuff. So then, um, so then the question that I ask you guys then is, like, what do you, what are you guys interested in? Because, like, I've got some stuff set up right now. 
where I'm looking at, I've got basically since you're the first ones, you kind of get like yeah. the first pick. But uh, I've got some stuff that has to do with like stars and galaxies. So it could do like the space stuff again, right? Uh, uploading our consciousness to a digital existence. Oh, we could definitely mess with some AI. Um, we've got stars and galaxies. We got a seismograph. So seismograph. So you guys like earthquakes, natural disasters, that types of stuff. And then we also have like, I've got it set up where we could do, uh, I basically got three virtual labs that we can choose from this week. We've got stars and galaxies, which is looking at the spectra coming off of the stars. We've got the seismograph virtual lab, which basically helps you triangulate and figure out like uh, where uh, earthquake epicenters are. And then we also have a plant light or virtual lab, which is basically kind of like sticks with this idea of like doing plants and stuff like that. So let me, let me see, is there any way that whoever is hosting could give me control? So that way I could like make a, I could make a, a poll. Uh, poll. Give me just that would a be, second. That, yeah, that we, they awesome. could also write in the chat box if it's easier. Your choices were stars, plants, or earthquakes. Yeah, no, like around that way. Do you have your polling options now, Andrew? Uh, let me see. I do not. I've got okay. reactions. Since I have reactions, I assume that I'm not. But if you're in, if you're in control, why don't you? If you want to throw up a poll, that would be awesome. We could do that. Yeah. Andrew's listed as the host, but we may not have set it up correctly where you can create a poll mid video right. mid video i got i'm not, I'm not really sure far. yeah no it says that john is the host now for me but let me see we'll do some stuff and really we can kind of incorporate like a little bit of everything we can kind of like basically we can basically take like make a main theme and then kind of do some stuff so i'm already thinking about pulling in some stuff for maybe like the movie 20 2012 have you guys seen that like the disaster movie that they have yes. oh my gosh that's so cool or we could you know i don't want to do stuff like contagion because that's a little that's a little too close to home this, mm. this this time uh but we can we can do some other fun stuff so excuse me well i'm seeing uh, several people voting for plants in the chat we got a couple stars plants 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 or stars i want to do the stars stars oh let me see let's see one two we go. three yeah good that work works. john Perfect. If you could hit up your poll, that would be that would be the best. I'm no good at like counting. You know, one of the <laughs> things that I like to do for my students is a lot of times, like if we've got two things coming up on a test, I'll let them pick which part they want to like get like help on, like a word bank, mm -hmm. and so then they all vote, and then I don't reveal the I don't reveal what they voted for until the day of the test. So they have to study for everything. Ooh. So they hate me. They don't like that. <laughs> That's that. perfect. But I think we're waiting on one vote. Well, that might be me, actually. Oh no! Well, we've got seven seven students here. So oh, I got you. Ten. Yeah. Sorry, eight oh. students. I mean, so, so only me, seven voted. Give me one more. Give me one more, and then we'll we'll reveal the outcome, and then that will kind of help us. Plants. All right. Well, we can work with that then. Sweet. And that's really kind of like uh, nice. And I think number two, obviously, is the stars. Nobody wanted to do earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but I didn't like, vote. You guys are like, all right, natural disaster is not what I'm about. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of like I don't want to think about it anymore, right? Okay. All right. So then I, I can weave those two. I can weave those two things together, actually. And so what I'm going to do. And let me see if I can't do, 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 do. let me pull this up then. And I'm gonna, let me see. This first session will be just a little bit clunky just because we're trying to get everything kind of, I'm trying to make sure that I know exactly where everything is. So your guys' class should be science one though, right? Science, science three. three. Science three, oh, I'm sorry. Everything's backward for me today. All right, so let me go to <laughs> science three. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. 
and we're going to pop over here to the Google Chrome. And so what we should be seeing is this is our, our website for our class for Science 3, and it's got the class code, all this stuff like that. All right, so what I believe I can do now is I can add, can I not add, I can add stuff from my drive to the class, right? Absolutely, yes. All right, so if I get out of the spinning circle thing here, hold on. So if I come over here, so this is the virtual lab that I have set up. If my computer will behave this morning. <laughs> Why is it going so slow? Oh, it's because it's connected to the wrong. And basically I've been tweaking my internet system and so now everything should be coming up. All right, so should, you should be able to see this right now. Do you guys see a graph? Or not a graph, but a big spreadsheet? No, just see a blank screen right now. Okay, let me see. Should be connecting up again. Okay. Should be loading. You might need to end uh, screen share and then share screen again maybe. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that, and then let's come back. <laughs> there we go. Cool. All right. So you guys see this? This is um, basically a sheet that I put together for y'all that kind of puts everything, kind of helps you out just a little bit easier. So we've got basically at the top you're going to have a link to the virtual lab. Now, when we click on it, and really, I think I've got it in this one right here. I can go to it. Let me see if I can. Now, a lot of times, what we're going to be interacting with a lot for, these, uh, for this class is going to require you to be able to enable Adobe Flash Player. So a lot of the virtual labs that I have set up at the beginning of this rely on Flash. And so if it, see, if it looks like this, you, or if you don't have flash enabled, you'll basically just see like a puzzle piece. And a lot of times what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into your settings or you'll have to click on like your little uh, piece of your puzzle piece here. And a lot of times, especially in like Chrome and Firefox, the way that it's set up is, is that it automatically blocks the uh, blocks the ability of Chrome to run Flash. And then what you have to do is you have to basically go into your settings and you're gonna end up um, b enabling Flash, but it won't enable Flash. It will basically just ask you every time, do you wanna allow Flash to run? And the reason for that is, is because Flash is kind of like, a, uh, there's lots of vulnerabilities that are associated with it. And so you're gonna have to go down and you have to go through your settings. Uh, what is it? Do, 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 do. Site settings, control information, camera pop-ups and more. Appearance, theme, search engine, default browser. I should have actually just joined up with the Chromebook today because I've got a Chromebook at my house uh, and I was running through that yesterday. And so I'm actually on a Mac right now. So it's going to look a little bit different. And so, um, I can help you guys with that in just a couple of minutes. A lot of times, and really what I should do is um, I should actually just find a video that basically walks you through and tells you how to enable it. And, but it Andrew, should be, yes. Sorry to cut in. I think if you actually like use like the search bar in the top and you just like type in. If you flash, click on the thing that says not secure, it'll bring around a thing that allows you to change site settings. Yep. Yeah, sweet. And then, um, so it looks like at least a couple of people in the class uh, know what's up when it comes to that. And we can kind of walk you through that. Um, John, do you see that on yours right now? Or Michael? Basically, I'll, I'll make sure that you guys, I'll post a video, uh, but a lot of times what they're talking about is up here, you're gonna end up with, um, yeah, see, this is a little bit different for me. So next time I think maybe I'll just use the Chromebook so it's all universal amongst everybody. But basically up here in this general area, you're gonna see a puzzle piece that usually pops up. 
some kind of warning. And so you're going to have to click on it and it will take you to your settings. And one of those settings will be to either enable flash. Uh, you'll see it's disabled by default. And so you'll have to click enable. And then what it will do is it will basically say, okay, every time that flash pops up, we load a site that wants to run flash, you're going to be asked, should I allow it to run or not? The sites that I give you, those are going to be cool. You can go ahead and click enable, let flash run on those, but just in general, flash is kind of like outdated. And I really think that they're, what is it? They're going to stop supporting it after December of this upcoming year. So this That's is right. kind of like the last chance we have to do stuff like this. Some of the stuff I'm going to give you is HTML, HTML5 based though. So we're not going to have to worry about that. Uh, but some of it is flash. So you're going to have to basically enable flash within your browser. And then you're going to see stuff like this that pops up. This doesn't mean that it's broken. You just have to stop a second and you have to read what it says. Click to enable Adobe Flash Player. So I'm going to click this and it says, all right, run flash will no longer be supported after December. Yes, I want to go ahead and allow this time, this instance to run. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up the virtual lab. We'll see here. So it should go through. Come on. All right. Wow, for some reason it is crawling this morning. But you should see an interface that looks like this. You should have two plant boxes. And then let me go ahead and kill the audio. Well, here, I'll undo it and I'll <laughs> it's really kind of loud. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill that audio. Uh, let's see here. And then so you're basically selecting between spinach radishes and lettuce so you get to pick one of these and then down here you can actually select what color of light you'd like to put on there so we've got different types that you can choose from and so take for example um, well all right so this is what the virtual lab looks like let me go back to the spreadsheet for you guys you can see here that we have basically a table and i've already pre-filled it with formulas. So really the information that you're gonna be plugging in is down here. And take for example, here's the spinach. It's got for the first plant, the second plant, and the third plant. We have the radish for the first, second, and third, and then the lettuce for the first, second, and third. And you'll see that I've listed out all of the colors of light. So we have red, orange, green, blue, yellow, and violet. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be testing these plants with the colors of light that are there. So if I come back to my virtual lab, I've got spinach, and then I'm gonna select red for the first one, and then I'm gonna select orange for the second. And then I'm gonna click the on switch, and it's gonna go through 30 days, and then here's your plants that are grown up. Now what you're gonna be responsible for doing now is you're gonna to have to pull this, click and drag this ruler here, and then you have to basically figure out how high these plants are. So you're going to have to look at the ruler. You're going to have to come up with a guesstimation. And this is in centimeters. So I would say this one looks to be about, first I have to figure out how many deviations are in here. So that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that looks to be about, what, 16 and a half or something like that. So you can, I'll let you decide how far to round it. Just for today, I'm just going to round it up to 16. So for me, what I'd do is I'd come back over here and I'd say for the spinach in red, I'm gonna say 16 centimeters. And then I'm gonna come back to my virtual lab here and I'm gonna grab my bar and I'm gonna go over to the next one and I've got 21, 22, I'm just gonna say 22 for that one. I'm gonna come back, I'll put 22. And then I'm gonna come back over here. And I'm gonna get my third one. And that should be what, 16, 17? I'm just gonna say 17 for this one. And then what you should see, it should give you an average. So this formula is set up to take the numbers that you input into these three tables and give you an average already. So I wanna to try to make it a little bit easier, especially on this first one for y'all. And what we're doing then is basically filling in the experimental data, and then it's gonna give us an average height for the spinach plant in the red overall here. Now, 
there are a couple of questions underneath. So you're going to do all this data, you're crunching. And so the questions are, which color of light do you think will result in the most growth and the least growth? So just, you know, based off of your personal experience or just off of whatever you guess, go ahead and put, you know, your hypothesis, your answers right here. And then the experimental results, when you tally it all up, which one gave you the most growth and which one gave you the least? And then I've got, given, what light, given that white light contains all colors of the spectrum, what growth would you expect under white light? And then finally for three, it says, what would one application of the data results of our experiment be? So you have to think about this. If we're doing it and we're looking at all these different wavelengths of light and we're trying to grow these plants, like what's, what can we do with that data? So we have to think about that for the final question. And then here's the fun one. You get to make a bar graph. Okay. And it's fun. Woohoo. Isn't it fun? So we're going to be working with this. <laughs> now I've included a link to a YouTube video that will help basically kind of walk you through making a bar graph in Google, Google, uh, Google sheets. And so you're going to be able to basically, you know, you're going to highlight this data and then you can go down here to insert, or you can even come over here to insert chart. And what it's going to do is it's going to read the data and then it's going to try to decide. But for some reason, I think it's going to go slow today. So this might actually take it just a couple of minutes here, but, um, I'm going to be sharing this document with you. I'm going to post this document on the class, uh, the class homepage. Now I think you're going to have to basically make your own copy though. And so see, it already recognized that for this one, you know, it tried to say red, orange, green, blue, yellow, violet. All right. And it gave us spinach, you know, but it's missing labels. It's missing a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to have to go through and edit and try to like, you know, fill in to make your graph. So we're collecting experimental data with this. And then we're basically coming back and we're filling all that in. And then we're making a sheet or we're making a graph that we can move around and I'll put it right here. So when you get done, you should have all the information and you should have a graph and should have answered the questions down below. And guess what, guys? And because you love plants so much, you pick the one that has the most work. So all the other ones are actually way easier than this. But since you guys already voted, uh, this is what you guys get. So, um, but it's going to give you an introduction into just working with graphs, uh, looking at the numbers, and then being able to read information from the graphs, right? Because you're going to have to determine which one of these is the best. And, you know, we might find out that not all the colors work exactly the same for all of the different plants. We may find that out. That might be a possibility, right? And so, you know, what would be some applications of this? That's what I want you to think about. We can take this information and then how can we use it? So we're gonna be looking at that. Um, but we've got some other stuff. Uh, let me see. So I think I can just go to my Google Drive and then actually, what I should probably do, I should probably, I'll have to get rid of this here. Uh, let me blank these out. And then what I can do, I think if I just go to file, can I just share it? Can I share it this way with you guys? I think one of the easiest ways to do this would be to go into the Google Classroom. Okay. And then under classwork tab, you're going to create a new assignment. And then you just title it whatever you want. If you want any instructions, like make sure you have all the data filled in, answer the questions and uh, make a graph. Okay, uh, fill in the data, answer the questions, and <laughs> make, make a, graph. a graph. Perfect. And then uh, you'll say add, and then from your Google Drive, you'll find that spreadsheet. And then if they can should, view it, 
can they make copies off of it? It should give you the option to say, uh, make a copy for each student, yes. There we go. And then uh, I would make a topic. Topic. Um, and, and say like week one homework or something or And then do you guys want to make this worth like what? We want like a thousand points for this? Do we want to work in thousands? Two thousand. Two yeah. thousand points? All right. <laughs> Woo! This is some high stakes assignments for y'all here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Plants are nothing to joke about. Neither are bar graphs. So I'll assign this for y'all here. So that should be good. It should be sticking it on your guys' assignment created. Cool, so it should be available for y'all now for you to be able to go ahead and, and check out and go through a little bit. Um, so let me, let me stop my share on that. Okay. So it looks like we've got, oh, and Adrian looks like she put up a, a link to enable that. Man, it is so nice having helpers because everything just kind of goes so much smoother. Thanks for being here today on that. She's going to install Louis, but settings are just different than y'all's. Okay, cool. So we're going to have that set up for you. So you're going to be able to see the virtual plant lab thing. And, and honestly, okay. So without knowing what you guys want to do and stuff like that, this was like the most generic thing that I could come up with. Um, I'm already thinking about some crazy stuff. So uh, one of them is, is I want to try to look into like what expert believe like Bigfoot's diet is. So we can maybe like take a look at the plants that like what does Bigfoot eat or something like that. Uh, and then also we can do some crazy stuff. I've actually got some uh, information from the International Space Station about what kind of plants they're growing uh, on the International Space Station and then what we could be helping as far as like what could we pick. And then there's also like a tomato lab thing. And then we can also do another uh, plant type of growth type of challenge type of thing i've got plants at my house and so we might be able to do some just like live live information with that as well so we got some fun stuff that we could do for that and uh we could also then look into ordering some microgreens and we could grow up some microgreens under different conditions uh, i've got cilantro at my house right now i've got some other stuff that you know you guys could be checking out as well so um but is there anything that anybody like as far as plants goes, like what do you, what are you guys like interested in about plants? Do you want like growing them, eating them? You, you know, do we need to like make like a, a recipe thing or something like that? Or like, you know, we got various different types of things. Like anybody got any ideas as far as what they want to do? As far as like what excites you? What, ex what I should ask is like, what excites you about plants? What do you think? And then here, I want to see if I can. They are green. That, that, that's what excites me. It's also my favorite color, so I, I will back that. So maybe we can look at like different, different types of like colors in plants. Their ability to heal. Nice. Herbalistic healing. Okay. Let's see here. This is crazy mm. how slow my computer is going today. Like legit crazy. Like it's never this slow. I'm just like trying to figure out why that is. Performance but, uh, anxiety. I guess it's got to be, right? Like it has to be. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just little like, but because I usually like to do stuff like this. Hopefully I don't know. Maybe it's because everybody does have their video. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Everybody's, everybody's finally doing that. So now it's just kind of like, yeah. But let me see if this goes here. Maybe I'll do a research. All right. Let me see. So then, do you guys hear that on your side? Do you hear any... Do you hear anything happening on your side? Yes. Yes. You hear the Mission Impossible theme song? Yes. It's not coming through my speakers, though. 
I hear gotcha. it. Like I hear it through your mic. Oh. He he would have to share his screen and click share computer sound for it to play. The big way. I probably shouldn't have tried that when everything is going so slow today. So let's go ahead and stop. <laughs> I'll have to work on that for y'all. I'll have to work on that. So <clears throat> usually for my classes, I'll have like background music and all kinds of stuff. So it's kind of like a little online discotheque, I guess. But so um, looks like we got some suggestions. Uh, and then also to like in the future, uh, once I get this speed thing figured out, I'll be able to pull up like spreadsheets and we'll basically be able to take some notes uh, share with the class what everybody's suggestions are because sometimes they're kind of hard to read as we're going through the chats. So got the website plant thingy. What's the website with the plant thingy? Oh, real. That's the, uh, oh, did everybody answer this? All right, cool. All right. And I'm not used to having helpers either. So when people ask stuff in the <laughs> chats, like usually I have to do that myself. All right. So healing stuff, ocean plant life. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We can get some stuff like that. I think we can mix a little bit of the whole like space and the plants and try to look at some fun stuff. And then, um, yeah, because even right now they've got a couple of things I've been reading about hunting down uh, exoplanets. So planets that are kind of like similar to earth and we can do a little bit of that, uh, some like planet hunting stuff. So that would be kind of cool. cool. So we got a lot of different options for you, but I want to make sure that everybody took that initial test. And then at the end of the semester, I'll give you that test again, but it will be different. So it won't be exactly the same test and it will be specialized in one subject. So you actually got a taste of all three subjects. So I gave you three questions from each group. Um, but at the end of the semester, I'll basically give you the full question set for your one particular uh, subject. So that way you can go ahead and do that. Uh, hybrids, cool, cool. All right, plants in the Goldilocks zone. Yeah, actually like, you know, the the spectrum one that I had set up is actually dealing with like plants and then also the Goldilocks and it kind of asks stuff like that. Nice, good job. <laughs> um, so be sure to go ahead and you can start working through that. Um, and then I'll take your suggestions and I can kind of then plan out what we want to do for the rest of the semester and we'll have some ideas. I'll pull in some videos. I'll see if I can't pull up some stuff and throw more information up on the website. Uh, and then I'll, I'll see about getting grades put up, I guess. I can put up grades through the website as well, I think. Um, to be honest with you, this is my first time using Google Classrooms. So I've kind of touched on it a little bit in the past but I'm sure that you all are probably better experts at it than I am at this point, especially if you've been using it for your, your regular school stuff. So uh, we'll be working with that as well. But I just wanna say I'm excited. I'm happy to see you guys. Uh, it's nice because it's like a reminder that not everything is lost. So I'm happy that you Aww. guys are here this summer. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to see your, all of your faces and everything like that. And then really this first class, um, you know, originally I had planned on just making you take a test, which would have sucked. So uh, yeah. Daniel Carroll talked me out of that, I guess, or maybe Rex Babcock talked <laughs> me out of that. So, uh, so now you cheers. got, yeah, right. <laughs> so now you got your assignments. So please feel free to go work on your virtual lab. And then um, we're going to, I'm going to take your suggestions and we'll get some stuff put up uh, this upcoming week. Uh, in regards to like what we're going to be doing. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks everybody for being here. We're going to get out a little bit early uh, today being the first day we got some information, but uh, I'll be pulling up some info and I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks so much, everybody. It's good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.